Okay, Mike, I'm going to take you to that day, September 9th, 2014. <laughs> All right, let, let me give you the background. I had been crying out to God. Nancy had been crying out to God. We didn't know it, but we were both praying for my, my diet, my health. And I said, you know, I'm a man of God. I'm a serious servant of the Lord, and yet I'm overweight. I'm obese. This is not right. I got to that breaking point. August 24th, we, we started a new lifestyle. Nancy said, just eat what I give you. That meant getting rid of all the foods I'd eaten all my life, getting rid of the addictions. And then it meant eating foods I would have paid you money to avoid in the past. But the amazing thing is, when you change what you feed your taste buds, they change as well. So I make the break three days of miserable withdrawal. For, it, it was harder for me to give up chocolate than to give up heroin. I remember on the third night, I was crying out to God. I said, Jesus, you you were so real for me. You set me free from heroin. I didn't need it. I said, surely the power of the spirit is more powerful than the power of peanut M&Ms. And that's, <laughs> that's when I broke through the third night. OK, so I'm doing good now. I'm eating the new food. I'm starting to feel different. I'm starting to lose weight. I'm doing well. I'm into this two and a half weeks now, Sid. I'm not feeling deprived anymore because you're only with our diets. We, we mess up because we just cut back on the bad stuff instead of cutting it out. So the addictions are still there and we're I craving see. all the time. And we're always wanting our body's programmed to want more. I'm free from that. I, I, I came home from radio one day, took a nap, and then had to go teach a night class at our Bible school. And I, somehow I really wanted something sweet. And I thought, that's good. Fruit. That's what the sweet tooth is for. Fruits. And I was now loving fruits. In the old days, Nancy would send me to the store and say, hey, could you get some stuff? She'd have to describe the fruit to me because I didn't know what it was. When I, when I got a, <laughs> You knew what a pepperoni pizza was. Oh, yeah. Right? Well, I, I didn't have the pepperoni, but extra <laughs> cheese. You bet. And, and, when, and, I, and I knew what Ben & Jerry's Super Fudge New York ice cream was. I, that I knew. But when I started eating healthily, I'd send her a picture. I said, what are these? She says, they're blackberries. They're good. Eat them. I said, OK, great. I'll eat them. So... I, I thought, I need fruit. That's it. Well, there's no fruit in the house for some reason. But I was craved. Something was, I, f I felt funny. So I, I go to the store, I'm, uh, just a convenience store at a gas station. Maybe they have, no, they don't have any fruit. What am I going to do? The fruit juices, they have sugar in it. I don't want to have any sugar. I finally find something that looks healthy. I think, okay, I'm going to have this. But I thought, I can't, I can't live like this. Well, you're never going to have a slice of pizza the rest of your life. You're never going to have chocolate the rest of your life. You're going to have fruits the rest of I hit my breaking point, Sid. Here I'm, I'm literally, I'm about to teach a night class, and I feel the weight of this coming down. I can't do it. And literally, I'm sitting in my car, and I start crying like a baby. Literally, two minutes before the class, I can't, God, I can't live like this the rest of my life, and no pizza, no chocolate, no, just fruit and veg, I can't do it. Crying like a baby. And, and two things were happening. One, I was at the end of myself. I was literally going through this. And I thought, this is good because this means grace is kicking in because you can't do it. On the other side, the flip side, I was watching myself laughing as it was happening. I wiped the tears from my eyes. I got on to teach. And that was the last night I had a struggle. It has been easy. There has been grace. And, and, and it, there's a supernatural anointing. Listen, why do we just think of it in other areas? Why do we think of it just getting free from pornography or free from drug addiction or free from alcoholism, even free from depression? Why can't we get free from bad habits and strongholds and addictions? And Sid, I honestly believe for every one person who receives a miracle of healing by God's grace, a hundred can receive a miracle of healing if they change their lifestyles. God put healthy stuff and he gave it to us. And if we eat it, it's life transforming. Yeah.